Thank God it's our last day in this hotel. So we are now on our way to have breakfast. Very tired, slept badly. And then today is gonna to be a five, five hour ferry journey over to freaking Al Nido. No, over to freaking Quran. We're in Al Nido, five hours to go to Quran. Thank God, we are leaving this hotel. Now time for the travel montage. Oh, palaver, we gotta get a terminal fee. It's like 20 pesos. We lined up, went to go in, and then they said, I need a terminal fee. Right. It's good morning. We're in Quran and it's early. <laughs> we are making our way to get some breakfast. Today we have booked on to. Hold on a minute, it's very loud here. Thank you. We, we have booked on to the super ultimate tour. Yes. Okay. Also, yesterday was Valentine's Day. So me and Emma, we went for some lovely Spanish tapas. So I'll put that on the screen right now. Kapoo. Made it to the first mysterious destination. It's like 120 steps to get to this lake. Like 120 or something. But after all this time, we've arrived. And this big stupid life jacket.
Twin Lagoon, boy! go what an eventful day I didn't do much of in the way of vlogging but I uh, I did get some awesome drone shots uh, there was a lot of places to stop and take in and not a lot of time to stop to unpack my camera and stuff like that and also when you get to like the lakes or the, the lagoons there's no place to put your stuff safely unless it wants to drop in the water so kind of left my bag most of the time but I did get a bit of the, the drone, which you'll see, obviously. And we'll uh, catch you later. Just had to quickly leave the squad because I need a wee real bad. Whoa, that is a big lobster. Hello, hello. Do you know what I like about... Wait, hold on a minute. Do you know what one thing is about the Philippines that's really cool? So if you want to get shampoo, you can buy these little one-use packets. Just like one use. You haven't got to carry a big bottle around, so perfect for backpacking. Just get one of these. Remember that? fiery Quran sign earlier. Well, turns out the fire actually damaged the sign and now the lights won't work. 